Okay. Yes, we can hear it, Christy. <laughs> Okay, let me let everyone in real quick. We're in that weather in Colorado where you need the air conditioner and the heater, sometimes in the same hour. I don't know, it's bizarre. <laughs> it's so annoying to me. So I have to keep turning on my heater. I'm like, what's going on? I'm freezing in this office. Hi everybody, welcome to Lunch and Learn. We're so excited to get started today. And I brought you the pro, the pro on holiday sales. I don't think I've ever, heard or seen anyone teach and sell and move as much product as I've seen uh, Chrissy over the years. It's been insane. She is actually, we're in the same national area. And so we've been friends, gosh, I don't even know, 22 years? Well, yeah, about. I know. Well, I don't even feel like, well, we'll just say we're 21. We just pretend we knew each other prior. And I was like, I don't even want to think about that. That kind of makes you feel old a little bit for a hot minute. Um, But if you're new, I just saw in the chat, some of you are new. It is on YouTube. Um, you give us about 24 hours. We're on YouTube. Then I put it in the Lunch and Learn group on Facebook. So you know you're on the right one. It has a picture of Mary Kay, like vintage picture of Mary Kay Ash and a like red gown from the Plaza Magazine. Um, so happy you're all joining. So happy that you're all spreading the word. This is for every division. I don't care if you just signed your agreement or you're a national sales director. Um, we are here to inspire midweek to get us going, right? This is going to be our best seminar year ever. And so we love sharing ideas. And my beautiful, most go give friend um, is going to share with you today. And when I tell you, I am truly, I, I, I knew no doubt. I was like, girl, I want you because that's it's that time, right? Who's part of that giftology is getting ready to happen. I mean, there's so many things that are already starting. And so unfortunately, I mean, the stores are doing it in July. We got to get after it. And so Chris is going to share with us some amazing things. I love you so much to my core. You know, I do anything for you. You're beautiful inside and out. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I've got my pen ready, ready to take a million notes. So girl, take it away. Well, thank you. Thank you, Jenny. You are so kind. All of your words. Gosh, thank you. Thank you. And I love doing life with you. It's just one of the greatest things ever. So tell me if um, I like having my little holiday music playing. If I need to turn it down, I want to make sure you all can hear me if the speaker is good and all. Is it good? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay. Well, um, thank you again, ladies. And uh, thank you for tuning in and spending lunch and learn um, listening to me today. And first of all, I just want to say that, you know, I just love this company and how Go Give everyone is not only Jenny, but everyone in our company. And so many of these ideas are not like my own ideas. And so I just love that we get to learn from each other. And that this company, we're all we're all independent business owners, but we're not by ourselves. So um, anyway, uh, hopefully my Santa hat doesn't make me start sweating here. But you know, we got to get in the mood. That's why I had to have my Christmas music. The second Christmas music comes on the radio, that is my go-to. Like I love it, love it, love it. Like the second Halloween is over, just come on. Like, I mean, we're already excited and ready for holiday. And I just felt like, you know, as consultants, we get to, you know, spread cheer and make everyone feel important all year long. And during the holidays, we get to become Mary Kay elves or Mary Kay Santas or Mary Kay gift gurus, you know, find what excites you. And I'm going to tell you a lot today, but I want to say, if you have not been dialing in daily to the million dollar messenger, wow, what an amazing call that is all throughout October. Every day it's featuring building your business this holiday season. So grab a pen if you don't know what I'm talking about. The phone number is the same. The password is the same. It's just a new message every day. And when October ends, it will continue going on. And I'm sure every, every day their message is fabulous. But October is all about the holidays. And so very grateful for that. So you dial 1-641-641. 715-3900. I'll repeat it. 1-641-715-3900. The extension is 44336 pound, the little hashtag sign. So 44336 pound. I love that call. And just like Jenny said, 
If you're not doing giftology, we highly recommend it. It is, uh, wait, today is the 18th. I think today is the deadline to sign up. So you have through today, it's $13. I won't go into all of that because I don't have it all memorized where to go, but I know Jenny can post it. So, um, all right. Here's the thing about holiday selling. There's so many opportunities and avenues. I mean, it is off the charts. Most people spend over a thousand dollars, and that's a very low ball number, a thousand to two thousand dollars at a minimum on holiday gifts. I'm talking about in general across the board. I feel like it's more closer to the two thousand dollars plus range, you know, because you think about it, they're buying for their kids, their spouse you know, friends, coworkers, teachers. I mean, the list goes on and on and on with holiday, you know, gifting. And we miss out if we don't get started now with number one, our strategy slash mindset, you know, um, our mindset, you know, is so key with anything in this business. Um, it It's what guides us to what where we're going you know what our attitude is and and what what we're what we're thinking about we bring about so um so i'm going to talk to you briefly about a lot of different things in a short amount of time i'm going to talk fast don't try to do all of these ideas okay because a confused mind does nothing so i think if you can pick a couple things and you know uh from not just what i'm sharing you know um if you're listening to the Million Dollar Messenger, you know, it's just getting your cup, keeping your cup filled every day is so powerful, so important, not meaning you have to implement every idea, but what it does is it helps keep you on course. And, you know, a lot of these things go together. You're going to find that I'm talking about. And when you listen to the Million Dollar Message or the Lunch and Learns, you know, a lot of our ideas and stuff can sometimes go together um, where, you know, you set a goal to uh, do, for instance, let's say you set a goal to do 30 faces in a month. Well, in that 30 faces, you can kill multiple birds with that one stone of getting their wish list, selling them gifts, treating them to the product, sharing the opportunity, you know, just from that one, that one thing. So I want you to take a moment and think about what, and, and I know you can't take that solid minute or a couple minutes to think about this, but I want you to write this down. I want you to think about what your dream Christmas would look like. If you could wake up on Christmas day, what would that look like, feel like? And it should bring you goosebumps. If it doesn't, maybe you're not dreaming big enough. So, you know, you want to paint that picture because every day, you know, whatever your why that you know, is attached um, to your thinking is what's going to help give you that fire and that burning desire every day to work towards it. So um, thinking about your, what it's going to feel like on Christmas day um, and then your strategy. So Kristen Sharp has this, uh, this formula where you take your money that you want to profit. So let's just pretend like you want to profit $2,000 this holiday season. Okay. She says, whatever your magic profit number is, take that and divide it by 0.40. So if you take $2,000 and you divide it by 0.40, that's going to equal 5,000. That's based upon Mary Kay's 60-40 split. So I feel like you've got to, you know, money talks. You want to have a number. I mean, people are spending hundreds and thousands of dollars. Every holiday season, why not have that gift experience, that million dollar service from you? So, I mean, there's so many people we can help with everybody on their list. So figuring out what your profit, what you want to profit this season. So take that magic number divided by 0.40, and that's going to give you your magic number of what you want to sell. So that way you can do the Mary Kay magic math math on, you know, your money of the 60, 40 split. So, um, what's your tone, uh, what's your attitude? So this is all part of it too. So I love, you know, Santa hats, they have all kinds of cute holiday headbands. You know, you can, uh, 
You can wear Christmas light necklaces, cute holiday earrings, playing Christmas music. I'm just giving you some examples. What gets you in the mood? Is it burning a holiday candle in your office or Scentsy while you're doing your business? Is it eating candy canes while you're making your booking calls? Um, is it drinking hot chocolate? I'm just trying to give you lots of ideas because you got to get in the, the mode. Like I have on my, my pink shirt. All I want for Christmas is a pink Cadillac. So get you a cute shirt. Like you can get one that says, Hey, I'm the Mary, or I love being the Mary Kay elf, or I'm the Mary Kay Santa, the MK Santa. You know, you can get cute holiday shirts made just about anywhere. Su super, super fun. Holiday t shirts look cute with, with uh, skirts, jeans, whatever you're doing. Um, I wear my suit jacket with some of my cutesy, like Mary Kay shirts. So you've got to you've got to get that. What is your signature this holiday season? What makes you feel like the Mary Kay elf or the Mary Kay Santa? That all of those ideas of hats and headbands, <laughs> holiday earrings, holiday mm -hmm. necklaces, all of those things. You know, um, I like to put Christmas lights in my gift basket. You know, uh, listening to holiday music. So figure that out. That's a huge, huge thing. And then you kind of figure out, okay, what things do you want to focus on? Okay, I'm going to name a lot of ways, but again, don't do them all. You know, try to pick a couple that you're going to focus on. So, you know, open house, I encourage everyone to do some form of open house. If you don't want to host it at your house, you can do a traveling open house. I challenged a few of my consultants this week to pick like, one or two days in a week that they're going to do a traveling open house and they can let their customers come out and shop the trunk of their car or they can tote their basket in and have their trunk filled with things like inventory and a couple different gifts, you know, that they just, whether you want to have them on hand or just have one example of each to show, um, you can do a traveling open house. You know, you don't have to do one at your home, but so holiday open houses, there's pink week that you can have with your business during Thanksgiving week. And um, so that's a huge thing where you can offer deals and let let people shop from their seat, not their feet. You know, a lot of fun ideas there. Wish lists. Uh, I feel like this is such a huge time to have Mary Kay wish list. This one, um, it just says holiday wish list. I did not create this. Uh, I, and it doesn't say on the bottom. Oh, it says designed by QT office. So there's loads of holiday wish lists out there, but I like this one because it has a place for them to write their favorite things, people to shop for and who their Santas are. So, um, it just, and it tells them, don't forget your, your, um, your preacher, your manicurist, your hairstylist, holiday guests, Sunday school teacher, housekeeper, school <laughs> Secretary, carpool moms, babysitters. So wish list. This this wish list. So when you're doing your facials, re um, like deliveries, I always say this time of year, make it a point to try to deliver in course in person instead of porch dropping, because in 10 minutes you can kill multiple birds with one stone, delivering the product, upselling them, letting them know, oh my gosh, I've got my holiday gift basket put together. I would love your opinion. Could you just take just a few, would you have just a minute to just, to just rate my holiday gifts? I want to know what's going to, what, what the eye is going to, what people are going to be excited about, you know, the eye buys. And I want to know that I'm, pro, that I'm showing the most eye catching gift ideas. You can offer them a $5 coupon to spend in December if they fill out a wish list. I mean, who wouldn't do that for you? You know, that, that gives you their Santa's what their favorite things are, who they want to shop for. Um, and, you know, offering just a $5 coupon in December that will help get your December, you know, keep your December exciting, you know? And so I love being able to offer them something for filling out a wish list. So back to all the different ways, selling to businesses. I'm going to tell you a little bit about that here in a minute. On the go selling, you know, on the go, you can do that when you're delivering product. You can do that at a business, at a spoil the staff. I'm going to talk to you about spoil the staff also. Shopping coffees. I just booked one um, yesterday. Really, any party I'm doing, I'm calling it a shopping coffee. I'm incorporating the word shopping coffee with their spa night or whatever type of party. It doesn't really matter what product you're trying at your parties. The biggest thing is the open, the closing, and that you incorporate your holiday 
holiday gift ideas in everything that you're doing. You know, don't separate it. Just instead in incorporate it. You know, you can have a strand of battery operated Christmas lights that you wind around your miracle set at your skincare parties, you know, um, to get people in the holiday mood. That's just one simple thing that you can do. That's not super expensive. Um, so shopping coffee is what I mean by that is, you know, I offer to bring a package of uh, store-bought Christmas cookies to all my parties and bringing a few wrapped holiday gifts, you know, and you can even do a fun game during your parties. I love to use the PMS. I call it the PMS game, which stands for personal makeover session. Every time I say PMS, whoever says PMS, the gift goes to that person. So why not do a sanitizer as your little party prize? And then they hear the word PMS and they can't wait to book theirs. And whoever ends up with this in their hand wins it. So it's just the Mary Kay hand sanitizer and, um, these little hats are off of courtofachievers.com. They have the little wrappers. I just printed these though. These are floating around where you can just print them and you just tape them around your bottle. This this is an empty sanitizer, by the way. I thought I'm not throwing away my personal stuff when they're empty. I love to use them as my demos to wrap stuff. So don't throw away your empty stuff. Um, I was so mad. I threw away my eye patch jar the other day and I was like, dang it. Then, cause if your things are empty, and they're wrapped, then you don't have to worry about the temperature. So the, this is a full box of the eye patches, but these little papers you can print off. I mean, you can order them from Court of Achievers, but they're floating around where you can get these little wrappers. You know, Court of Achievers is pretty inexpensive, but um, I don't know, somehow they're floating around where you can just print them on printer paper. And, you know, uh, so I love to wrap my test you know, like my own personal use things when they're empty. Um, but sometimes it is beneficial. So I do get off track. So to use full size demos as your gift wrapping, if you don't have plastic wrapped around it, like this is too cute. Like I don't want to take the Santa hat off all the time. So I don't care. It doesn't matter that it's empty. You know what I mean? So um, selling to guys, guys hate to shop and you can tell them, oh my gosh, I know Amazon is so great, but you know what? Amazon isn't going to personally, um, you know, gift wrap and make it cute and fun and include, include um, a fun makeover certificate. Plus anytime you sell a gift, get the name and number of who they're buying the gift for, because let them know, Hey, I offer a million dollar customer service with Mary Kay. And I want to make sure that they loved their Christmas gift. If they don't, they can exchange it. And I want them to know I'm so excited to let them use their $10 gift card with me and makeover ses session after the holidays. So um, spoiling the staff, staff, I know I mentioned that. This month is awareness month. So I have made up these little goodie bags and, and I'm going to tell you more about these. But for October, I have a self breast exam sheet in here. Um, these little jeweled uh, breast cancer stickers are from the Dollar Tree. You get like 18 of them for a dollar. A little sheet that um, it shows all of the themes from the company, like $92 million has been raised from the, it's that little sheet that I'm talking about. Jenny, I'll send you the breast cancer cards. Uh, I have a digital image of these where you get two on a paper and then the little cards from the company that um, they were really hard to find. And in my brain, I can't remember where I found them, but I have it to where there's two on a sheet. So it's not too late. You can get these out in November and December. It doesn't matter that October is awareness month. Like we could be giving these out all the time. So these little goodie bags, um, I have a little you've been nominated QR code square. Find somebody that can make QR codes for you. There's people in your life that love to do that kind of stuff. I have a local assistant Ready? that made these up for me that oh. are um, little QR codes, uh, little inserts. And it just says you've been nominated to receive a free spa pampering pack. And it just says, scan the QR code to receive your free pampering pack. No purchase necessary. I can't wait to treat you. And then it says Christy. And it has the little QR code. When they scan it, it takes them to a Google Doc that I made. And they can fill out um, their info to receive a pampering pack. And I give them options on how they would want to do it. If they want to do it in person or over a Zoom call or when they're getting their face ready for bed. So I have that in here, a sample, and then a little... Um, a little card from Court of Achievers that has a $10 gift card that they get at their session. Um, so 
that's what's in my little, um, Kristen Sharp calls them boo bags, you know, um, but I just have these little, I'm calling them awareness bags and uh, because it has awareness info in them, but just fun little treat. I don't have candy in mind, but I do have a Mary Kay sample and I do love to do candy. I just don't have them, have them in those. So making up some goodie bags, make up a ton, make them up to where you can use pretty much maybe the same bag for October and November. Like I said, the awareness stuff we can give out all the time. So then, you know, you've got a lot of them made up and you could do like a hard candy. The little Werther's candies are perfect. Candy canes are one of my favorite things ever. They're in all different flavors and everybody loves candy canes. And so you can start. I can't wait until they're available in the stores. I haven't seen them yet, but it's about any day. They're probably going to be available. Um. Let's see, pillow gifts and wish list. I talked about wish list. So I'm going to tell you, I'm going to, Jenny, do I have like 10 more minutes? Just like. Yes. Do what you got to do, girl. You're fine. Okay. Okay. So um, figure out, you know, so of those ideas, you know, thinking about what, what things you want to run with. I mean, obviously we're, we want to keep our appointments up. We are, are always having reorders. We, we want to keep our appointments up. And so, you know, you can easily incorporate your holiday, ha having some gift ideas in the wish list. I mean, you can already incorporate those very simply. Um, and so just be thinking about some of the different ways that you that you want to do your holiday selling um, and thinking about, you know, your price points, what you're promoting right now. My holiday baby is pink and purple for awareness month. And so my holiday baby is big. You don't have to have a big holiday baby, but I have a pink tree in mine and it has a little awareness scarf wrapped around the tree. And um, this cupcake is just for looks. I just kind of throw extra goodie bags in there. Um, I'll, I'll just tell you really quick what's in my basket. So um, I have a little blinged up mirror that I can, I carry around in there so that, you know, I've got a few full size like lip testers with brushes. If somebody wants to quick, like apply, you can just stick jewels on the back of a cheap mirror. I don't know. It's just fun. Um, I have a tester of our berry and vanilla. Um, I tell him, you know, this is a cute coffee and cream idea. Um, where you can incorporate just a little packet of hot chocolate behind it or a candy cane. Um, but I'm trying to sprinkle in like anybody that they might know that's going through cancer treatment, not just breast cancer, but any type of cancer. Guys, too, I tell them we have fragrance-free hand cream. This one just represents my coffee and cream, okay? So these little cups you can get from the dollar store, it comes with a little, but I have this open. I don't have cellophane around it because this is a tester, and I want them to see how yummy it smells, and then I'll tell them, and it comes in a body wash, you know? Kind of a thing. I have pink and purple ink pens. They're fuzzy and fluffy. Um, I have a little clipboard in my basket that has just like a little info sheet to fill out. These there's gobs of these around, like where you just get their name and number, and you want to know if they have a Mary Kay consultant or not. That's the biggest questions you want to know, you know, on a survey. Um, I do have, since this is the time of year to be really talking to businesses about gifts for employees. So this little blue, it's a plastic container from the Dollar Tree. It's down the party section and they're in all different colors. They have pink, they have blue. So I have a satin hand set wrapped, okay? I have a pillow stuffing in the bottom, some colorful like little throwaway balls. Like they're just like little glitter balls and you can get them from the Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, Amazon probably. So I just have some of those. And then I have a couple Christmas ornament balls in here. Um. So what I did with the satin hands, I have a full satin hand set in here, but I have a pair of gloves tucked around the hand cream on purpose so I can tell businesses now there's two ideas in one wrapped here. So satin hand set, you know, with $36 is not in their price range. Then I want to tell them, you know, the hand cream is amazing. Anybody that works in office, I don't care what kind of job they have, they're going to get dry hands when it's when it's cold out people get more dry hands, you know? So I like to have kind of a two for one in here where they can see, oh, you know, you could also do a hand lotion with a pair of gloves, or you could do a hand cream. They don't have to do the $14 body cream. I mean, they could do the, the $12 satin hand cream, you know, as their coffee and cream. Um, and uh, so the holiday I love, I think it's important to have something wrapped pretty that they can kind of see what, you know, it would look like gift wrapped. Um, I always include my business card in the bottom of the Christmas gifts, even though I'm getting names and numbers from who they're buying the gift for. 
it's good to put your business card or have your labels on the product. I get excited and then I can't breathe. So don't worry. I'm not going to like pass out if you hear me getting out of breath. I just get excited. So the foot lotion with socks. Oh my goodness. I just have my tester wrapped up the fuzzy socks like a cupcake and just plop it in a coffee cup. This is a Christmas snowflake mug. I don't think you can really see with my ring light. But the thing missing is a candy cane. So as soon as I can buy the candy canes, the candy cane is sticking in there. And, um, you know, these are perfect for anyone. I highly recommend. I don't think they're sold out yet, the free socks. Get them because, I mean, seriously, who can't spend $12 on a gift? I mean, that, I mean, really. So, you know, those are perfect. Um, so the thing that I have the sanitizer in, Whoops, I lost the cap of it. So I, so having a few different price ranges. So this is kind of my price ranges right now because I'm promoting, you know, just kind of the smaller gift ideas for like businesses and stuff like that. So this little container, you can get these at Dollar Tree or Walmart. They're a dollar. I have Christmas balls in here. So I have the hand sanitizer and our hand soap paired together. So this is a perfect little gift, like right around 20 that someone can get. Um, and it gets them the hand soap and hand sanitizer. So just all about, you know, those kind of things. I do have the eye patches in here as well. So this is a little higher price point. So figuring out what your price points are. Oh no, I lost my notes. Let me find them ladies here. Oh, there we go. Okay. So move my basket for now. I, of course I have holiday books in there, you know, goodie bags. So my breast cancer awareness bags are in there and that basket goes with me everywhere. If I'm going to a coffee shop, a restaurant, it's going in with me. I'm, I'll even tote it into Walmart with me or whatever, you know, it, it talks, you know, wear your Mary Kay pin. You can wear a Santa hat. I mean, obviously not until after Halloween, I won't be walking around probably wearing this unless if I have a holiday party or, or something, you know? <laughs> um, so let's see here. Um, okay. I, so one of the things I like to ask people, whoever, you know, I'm helping with their appointment, I just ask them, okay, who all comes to mind that you want to feel extra special this holiday season? So who all comes to mind that you want to feel extra special this holiday season and do something special for? And as they start telling you people, as you're listening, then you can even offer ideas like, gosh, do you get a lot of mail delivered to your door? You know, what about your 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 UPS driver? Um, do your kids have, have teachers? You know, I've got great teacher gifts. So it's kind of like when they're telling you what they want to order for themselves, how you're continually, until they say, okay, that's it. You're doing the same thing with gift giving who you're helping them. This is a huge service, you know, that we're, that we offer to help them out. So, um, I know I told you, don't forget to get names and numbers of who they're buying the gift for. Um, let's see. Okay. So I want to talk to you about, so I sent Jenny, so two other goodie bags. So my assistant is making these up for me right now, but I have these little cards. Okay. One of them says happy holidays at the top. It has a picture of me at the bottom and it has a little holiday border. Okay. You can just create on colored paper. You can type this up. You can have someone make you make a make one cute for you, but you don't even have to make it cute with holiday design. I mean, you can even just print it on red paper. OK, you could type up all this wording, print it on red paper, green paper, whatever. Um, but it just says, let me help you give a gift with a personal touch with my professional gift service. Gifts come in all price ranges and different packaging. All gifts come with 100% guarantee, free delivery, and custom gift wrapping. Gift towers, 12 days of Christmas sets, gift cards, and lots of special, lots of small special gifts. Some start at only $10. Lots of great, great gifts for clients, family, friends, and those who give you a service that you'd like to give an appreciation gift to. I'd love to save you, save you time, money, and gift buying stress this year. I can take orders in person, over the phone, email, or video call to. Contact me, Kristen Giffen, my email, my phone number. So what I'm doing with these cards is my assistants making them up in little goodie bags, just like my breast cancer awareness one. Instead of this, their little green polka dot bags, I am having her put a little bit of sparkly shred in the bottom, one piece of candy. As soon as I can get candy canes right now, it's a, it's a caramel apple where there's hard candy, one piece of candy and that card. 
no samples, nothing like that, because I'm going to be giving these out to guys, women, everywhere you go, you can be giving out the little bags, letting them know about your holiday gift giving service. And obviously finding out their name and number, you know, I'd love to set this up with you, no obligation, you know, um, and offer them a $10 gift card just for their time to get themselves like, hey, I'd love, you know, to apply $10 towards something for your wife just for doing um, a 10, 15 minute gift gift appointment with me. So um, I'm having her do up some of the bags with that. The other one says spoil the staff. So spoil the staff sampling and sweets. So spoil the staff and these other holiday, um, happy holiday cards. They kind of go together, but I'm not putting them in the same bag. I want them to be totally separate. I'll tell you why in a second. So the spoil the staff says, I would love to set up a spoil the staff this holiday season with all the employees at your place of business. I'm an independent beauty consultant with Mary Kay and absolutely love the opportunity to help others feel important by doing these staff appreciations. What it entails is a satin hands pampering treatment, a few fun samples and treats they can enjoy too, all complimentary as well. I look forward to hearing from you to set up this special appreciation for your staff. And then it has my name and number at the bottom and it has a picture of the satin hands. So um, I feel like right now, especially, you know, businesses love if it's all complimentary and you can go in and spoil the staff. Guess what I'm taking? My holiday basket, baby store-bought cookies, some individually wrapped candies, my satin hands demo, loads of cards for them to fill out their name and number, gift ideas, and then at the spoil the staff, you know, I can give the owner my little holiday card about the whole buying for your employees and all of that. That's what I mean. They go together. You can give those out to the people that come in to get spoiled, you know. Um, I'll probably bring satin lips, a few other just fun things. The eye patches are perfect over lunch breaks. They can put them under their eyes. Even if they have foundation on, I tell people, oh my gosh, it doesn't mess it up. Your eyes are going to feel like cappuccino just hit them. You know, they're amazing. So having like your fragrance free satin hands, you know, uh, I love to do the fragrance free and I'll bring like the white tea and citrus tester just so they can smell it. But that way, guys, you know, they love some guys like the scents too, you know, but um, I love having the fragrance free because then it doesn't give anybody excuse why they can't try it. <laughs> They're like, I'm afraid allergic to fragrance or whatever. So I guess I'm challenging you all just to think outside the box. You know, it never hurts. So if I go into a place with my little spoil the staff, I would say, first of all, to think about your customers, you know, it, people that you know, sit down and brainstorm. I take like a piece of notebook paper and I brainstorm a column for businesses. I brainstorm a column for, um, you know, shopping coffees, people that I specifically want to do a, a shopping coffee. And really the spoil the staff sessions is kind of a shopping coffee because you're going to have gifts. You're going to have cookies. You're going to be doing satin hands. That's really what a shopping coffee is. You know, you can even bring the new miracle set and do it on one hand versus the other. I mean, there's so many things you can knock out in one session, you know? So, um, I get excited and lose my train of thought. Okay, so when I go into a place, if I don't have anybody's contact or whatever, I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to say, um, hey, I just, you know, I, I drive by your business all the time. And I just keep thinking, you know, I want you to know I am, my name is Christy. I am a gift guru, guru this time of year. Um, I love to set up complimentary spoil the staff sessions. Who might be the person that I could set this up with where I can spoil you and all the other employees over your lunch break with a fun hand treatment. I don't just go into too much, but I ask who who is it that I could set up this complimentary spoil the staff session with? And um, if if they say the person's not available, then I live, leave the bag for them to give the owner or whoever for the spoil the staff. And I get a business card or I write down the name of the business and the name if they don't have a card um, because follow up is so key, you know, with all of these things. And, you know, it can be big, big businesses, small businesses, you know, but um, letting them get pampered and letting them shop, you know, if they want to shop over their lunch break. I mean, it's as simple as that. And if I'm going into a business 
to, I feel like the spoil the staff is a way in the door to holiday selling. So chances are I'm probably giving out a lot more of my spoil the staff cards, but I'm giving out those holiday, once I'm connecting with people, you know, um, I'm giving out those holiday, ho happy holiday cards that really talks about them buying gifts for anyone special in their life. So you want to make up a ton of both of them. So I don't know, you guys, I feel like I, I gave you all I can give you right now without, you know, talking like a crazy person. <laughs> oh my gosh. And it was amazing for him. That's why, that's why she's on here today. Um, the two cards that she was talking about that she already sent me, I already posted them in the Lunch and Learn Facebook group. So just so you know that, and then she'll give me the other breast cancer thing, whatever else you're sending me. Or if you're in that group, uh, Chrissy, you just put them in there if that's easier for you. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Ask a question. Are you passing out your holiday cards to everyone? Do you get names and numbers before you give them or just passing them out? So are you get names and numbers before you hand it to them? Or are you just passing them out your holiday cards? Um, like if I'm out and about or something like that. Um, yeah, I mean, the fact that that's why I love not putting samples in there. It's just a piece of candy and a card. I mean, I'm trying to get their information to set up either the the holiday selling appointment with them or, you know, um, hey, would you care if I do you prefer call or text? I'd love to just check in with you to see when would be good. Like, I just love that. Do you prefer like a quick text or a call? And um, we can we can just set up a quick time, even over a video call or, you know, whatever, just making it easy, you know, because um, if you ask them a question, like, where they kind of have to say, they have to, they can't just say no. You know what I mean? Like it's a question where they're not going to say yes or no. They're going to say, sure, a text is good or a call. You know what I mean? So that's, I don't know. Does that answer th that question? Yes, it forces them to engage. Just like mm -hmm. when you text one in with a question. Otherwise they think it's a statement. They don't respond to you. So same philosophy is you want to have that going. Chrissy, you are amazing as always. Real quick, if anybody has anything they want to affirm her with or a question you want to ask, please do. Um, thank you all for joining in on these two. I hope they're helping you and I hope you're loving them as much as I am. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to go into lunch and learn and, um, okay. I'll comment these on, um, the same, you know, in the, yes. you know, where you put the other, I put the graphics. Yeah. I, when you sent them earlier, I just put them in there. So that way they would already be there. So you girls can just take the idea and run with it, but you have them that way. Yes. Okay. Yes. Does anybody else have any questions or anything that you want to ask Christy before we go? Christy, that was amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so Absolutely. It got me excited just doing it. So thank you, Jenny. It's getting this Santa like a firecracker underneath the Santa's <laughs> bottom. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm getting hot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you are hot. <laughs> hey, ladies. Christy, thank you. Jenny, thank you for having Christy on. I know you guys are long time friends and area members. And Let me see if I, I have my earbuds in. But, but I just want to um, brag on Christy. She is a uh, Go Give has a Go Give heart, comes from a huge Go Give um, national area, newly retired Carrie Buskirk and um, just everybody just she is light and hope to everyone around her. She takes care of my unit members that are in that area. Even if they're not in that area, she's always willing to help. And um, I agree. This was a little blast in the booty to to get going. So thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you. And thank you all. This is so fun. And and don't forget about the Million Dollar Messenger. It is so, so good. Get on there. Yes. Yes. All right, ladies. Let's rock out this October and then start making the magic happen. I love you all. Thanks for joining in. Bye, gals. Bye. Have a great day. Love you.